Hi guys, I hope you're all well. In this video, I want to discuss something I've briefly discussed on Instagram and I wanted to create a slightly longer YouTube video. Now, we've all had that person, whether it's a friend, family member or colleague who have eliminated, say, gluten, for example, or milk or bread or anything else where they've just completely eliminated that particular food or food group from their diet and then they've started seeing fat loss progress. Now what's really going on here and it's not actually what the person thinks. The person usually thinks because they've eliminated say dairy or gluten or whatever it is they they start seeing fat loss progress and they associate the result with the elimination of this food or food group. But the cold hard facts are all that person has done is just basically decrease their total calories if they've eliminated a whole food group or food then more than likely they'll be consuming less calories than they were previously now if they're in a energy deficit they're going to see some fat loss progress so keep this in mind it wasn't actually the elimination of this particular food it was actually just the energy deficit the reduction in total calories has caused the results and unfortunately this seems to be a, a common trend just because within the media they, these days there's a lot of scaremongering with certain foods and people like to be black and white they like to know that they have a good set of foods they should eat and, and a list of foods they shouldn't eat they don't like this gray area in between which is pretty much what i am portraying with a lot of my content is this reality that your food sources should be things you enjoy with the caveat you have daily calorie and macronutrient targets set up and suitable for your goals that's really one of the big messages i'm trying to portray so instead of just eliminating dairy or gluten just because you've read a book that's the new york times bestseller or something like this and actually just consume food you enjoy while having some well set up calorie and macronutrient targets suitable for your goals now it's important to note there's one caveat to this the one caveat would be if you have a genuine allergy so for example if you had celiac disease or you have a genuine allergy to a certain food this would be the one time where you should definitely eliminate this food in addition to that the other caveat to this would be if you have a personal preference to not eat a certain food which is absolutely fine but if you're unnecessarily eliminating certain food groups it just creates a bad relationship with food which can potentially mean eating disorders down the road so keep this in mind consume foods you enjoy have some well set up calorie and macronutrient targets suitable for your goals hopefully this found this useful if you're still yet to subscribe to the channel please do like the video if you've enjoyed it and i'll look forward to speaking to you soon take care